Okay. Video log for new project of paddle wheel stern wheeler boat. As you can see, foam board has been purchased both black and white. <laughs> yeah, limited supply. <laughs> Had to get whatever was available. <clears throat> Step one. Build a paddle wheel. Well, as you can see, as usual, I've used whatever parts I have around here. Our drive mechanism is a spur gear off of a RC truck. And we have a, uh, like a dog bone kind of thing. It's going to be used as the drive arm. The paddle wheel itself is, the hubs on the paddle wheel are, are made out of bottle caps, okay, from, <clears throat> from whiskey bottles. <laughs> the axle is threaded rod. We're actually using bearings. Don't know if it'll focus or not, but there is a bearing in there. The rest of the wheel is made from strips of marine ply, some of which have been used on other projects. They have some paint left on them. That'll all get stripped away. But as you can see, The paddle wheel does work. I've made some temporary stands out of foam board. The cardboard box is being used as a temporary stand in for the what will eventually be the deck of the boat. <clears throat> now the height of the paddle wheel is going to be adjustable as well. So this may not be the actual height, although you know we do have about uh, three-quarter paddle immersion at the bottom turn, so there's a possibility this may be the correct height. Now that's it for the update on this. A lot of painting and finishing work still needs to be done. This gives you a general idea. <coughs> By the way, the date is August 18th, uh, 2019. Yet another crazy idea from Team Alienators. Okay, paddle wheel has finally been mounted into the boat hull. As you can see, it works. <clears throat> Had to do some fancy cutting on the wood.
I'm gonna put some extra light on. <clears throat> yeah, not enough that really shows. Everything's in shadow. But anyway. It's in the boat and it does work. So this is the next evolutionary step. Okay, it's an update video on the paddle wheel project. Now if you watch carefully, you'll see the paddle wheel will turn as I'm turning the gears on the motor here. See that? So, the system does work, even though it's kind of odd looking. What we have here is a gearbox from a RC truck, motor coming out, got a small spur gear, or excuse me, pinion gear. Coming over to a spur gear. And that drives a gearbox assembly with an output yoke, which comes across with the dog bone over to here to a drive assembly with a, a homemade pulley. And the homemade pulley is made from a washer and what you see there, that gear. That came out of a differential for the RC truck. Back here, the big pulley that's on here for the uh, that's driving the paddle wheel. That's actually the wheel of an RC truck that's been cut down. Now finding a belt to drive this thing was a bit of a challenge. This is actually fuel line. Yep, for nitro fuel. And that's the latest update. Okay, this is going to be a running test video without speed control. <clears throat> it's going to hook a battery up and it's going to run at its full speed potential. So this would be the same thing as having the throttle on full. And here we go. Concept seems to work.
Okay, this is a video of the operation of the embarking and disembarking ramp for the riverboat. Right now the ramp is in the down position so people can either come off the boat or get back on. Once everyone's been boarded, and it's a matter of raising the plank like such, and then the boat gets underway. Once they come back into shore or a dock, then it's a matter of lowering down the gangplank like that, and now people can get off, off and back on again. Alright, that's the end of this operational video.